Safar Alex Crosby, trainee military engineer in the Royal Engineers. I've always had an interest in engines due to uh, restoring a car with my uh, dad. My brother also joined the engineers before me, so he showed me a lot of courses that you can do in the engineers and obviously fitter gen was one of them which took my liking and chose to join the, uh, the army as a fitter gen. The course is roughly just under a year long. It involves CI engines which is diesel, uh, petrol engines, um, hydraulics, water pumps, uh, quite a lot of stuff really to be honest. Um, you go through all the electric space, do a bit of fabrication, everything that you need to wash in the field basically to do your job. Quite a few civilian qualifications at MVQ level. I suppose if you wanted to go on Civil Street, you'd have to probably specialise into one of them. But you can, yeah, there's a few you can take out in Civil Street and use. You've got all your engines on in your own little bay, so you get assigned your engine. You get assigned a, your own toolbox, everything. So you got all the facilities you need, plus all the equipment to work on as well. And you don't have to search around for it or anything, you can just have it straight there right, at your hands. You get paid since you start joining the army, that, that'll be it. Even though we're learning at the moment, we'll still be getting paid the same that we would every, every other day. To find out more about becoming a military apprentice, visit armyjobs.mod.uk.